information at 6 on a story we broke in early January. The city of Omaha is now ready with new rules for boarding and rooming houses. All stems from the fatal fire here near 24th and M just before Christmas. Two people inside died. The city wants to know how many of these houses exist in Omaha. And KATV Newswatch Chevin's Chin Doan joins us live. And Rob, that fatal fire prompted the city to look at its own rules. Now the mayor's administration is ready to ask the city council to require landlords of boarding and rooming houses to register. This fire near 22nd and M sparked safety concerns just days before Christmas. Two people died and nearly two dozen others left homeless. It's very gut wrenching. It doesn't feel good. Jay Davis with the Omaha Planning Department met with Fire Chief Bernie Kinger within a day. Both agreed. Updating a city ordinance could have saved lives. If this was in place uh, prior to that fire, absolutely, because we would have had a working uh, fire detection system. We would have had nobody sleeping in the basement. We would have had exit doors and exit windows from the, the areas where people were sleeping. Davis says current codes are not strict enough. New amendments would require all rooming and boarding houses to be registered and inspected annually. No basement units would be allowed. Only attic spaces with a fire escape could be lived in. Every room must have a window and a door, and there would have to be a working fire alarm system. The owners would have to pay fees ranging from a few hundred dollars to a thousand. Not registering or paying could cost landlords a ticket or even jail time. This is something that we have recognized as a problem before that, but uh, because of that fire, it, it really um, um, caused us to, to address this and, and get it resolved sooner. And the new ordinance will be on the city council agenda next week. If it's passed, it could be up to six months before it's implemented. All right, so Chen, uh, new ordinance, does that mean more inspectors? That's right. There are now 15 inspectors. The mayor says the city is willing to hire more inspectors if necessary. All right, Chen Dong reporting live. Thanks.